Next up, we got NFL free agency. Make the best memes. More MMG. Uh, if y'all want more MMG videos, hit that like button and subscribe button. Let's just have it over. Start with the 2024 team report cards. So the NFL Players Association surveyed virtually every player in the league and a bunch of different criteria. I think the most interesting thing is the team that just won the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs, came in 31st out of 32nd. So, phew. I guess the question is like, does it really matter? Who really gives a shit what these team report cards are? Because you can win the Super Bowl anyway, but I certainly see the appeal for free agents. For example, Miami got an A- minus or better in every single category. Tyreek Kill missing out on two rings, but having the best player conditions in the league. So the top five teams were Dolphins, Vikings, Packers, Eagles, Jaguars. It's interesting to see how many teams have an F minus in treatment food of cafe. How do you even end up there? The Bengals, Steelers, Patriots, Commanders all earned an F minus. How do you get an F minus? Is it F be. like as bad as it Sir. gets? I think owner is really shocking. Yeah, There's minus. only two Fs and one F minus. The only F minus for owner is the Kansas City Chiefs. Now keep in mind, this is a survey from the players. So unanimously, it seems like Kansas City Chiefs players are agreeing that their owner is an absolute piece of shit, I guess is the way I'm interpreting this. I love to see my Lions. They're at a 13, a C in food and cafe, C plus in nutritionist. Not too shocked about that, but we got an A plus head coach. Dan Campbell is loved. Now I gotta say, if your players are unanimously agreeing that they don't like the head coach, that is a very bad sign. Take a look at the Raiders who've got a D in head coach. The Commanders have a C. Patriots with a B minus. B minuses for the Browns and Buccaneers. A B minus for the Saints. I mean, like, in general, the players are going to say good things about their head coach, right? So the absolute worst grade given to a head sure. coach is the Raiders. We were just talking about that. Tough. Now, keep in mind when this poll was done, though, with 1,700 players responding, that is 77% of the entire NFL. According to the NFL's Player Association, a B plus is still a very strong grade. This simply notes clubs are providing a high level of care in that category, which should be recognized. So keep that in mind as we look at this. A B plus is really good. If I got a B plus in a college class, I was fucking lit. I don't know what you Asians out there are thinking, but I'm pretty cool about that. What the fuck? Also, I have absolutely insane news. L. Partnership. Promo code, of course. Underdog is... I'm telling him the news. Tell him. I don't even know what the news is. Oh, you're pregnant. No, actually, though, I do have in on the M right, in general. Right. One is right. in the early stages of the season. So if some of this doesn't make sense, that kind of explains it. Absolute worst team is the Commanders. It's well known that the Commanders facilities are just utter dog shit. One thing I think that is a huge impact here is like, if you're the Washington Commanders, how are you signing free agents? It's got to be so difficult to convince a player who has an equal offer anywhere else to come to Washington. You have to either throw so much more money at them that they're like, fuck it, I'll take the bag. Or like they have family there or something. Cause that, that really is a tough sell. You know, there's that same difficulty for the Lions. A lot of people don't want to be in Detroit, but at least we have really nice facilities. Like Ford Field is a very nice newer stadium. It's 70 degrees in there. Like I don't mind going to a Lions game. I can see why commanders are at the bottom of this though. I think the Chiefs this is so unbelievably shocking though. This is so crazy to me. D plus treatment of families, C minus food, F nutritionist, F locker room, D training room, F training staff. I mean, the only thing the Chiefs scored well on was head coach. It's all about Andy Reid over there. I just think this shit's crazy. The Mimi. The Atlanta Falcons strength coach in the weight room with the players. Dude, this guy and this guy are not friends. He didn't even, he didn't even help at all. <laughs> he doesn't Yo, That's his only job. As he dies. Justin Herbert, if the Chargers provide him with a fresh, well-balanced diet. Oh my God, Chargers fans are so delicious. Hey, hey you, got, you got Harbaugh now. You got no excuses no more, Chargers fans. Aren't ready to steal his players' families. You ain't gonna fuck your baby. My daughter. Your daughter, nigga, fuck that bitch. Jesus Christ. We just won our third Super Bowl in five years. Can we please get some real food now? Ordinary oh my goodness. This really is the Washington no. Commanders this season. And that makes it mean she's getting a bath, bro. New England Patriots win. Oh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Miami Dolphins are winning the 24 offseason report card championship. Hey! 2024 team report card notes, Patriots players gave Bill Belichick the sixth worst grade out of all head coaches. Commanders players reported multiple sewage leaks. 
Falcon's Damn. former head strength coach received the lowest grade. Players described it as a toxic environment. Chiefs players Ooh. gave Clark Hunt the lowest grade out of all owners, and the Chiefs dietitian was given the second lowest grade. Feel that the major issues. Well, that how, that's crazy how you said the dietitian was bad. Because if you think about it, it's the NFL. You would think they would have the best diet, nutrition, anything you would ask for. That you would think they would, they would, they would have it. You know what I'm saying? How does the diet, or it's same with the the, the facility. How is it? This is literally, they're getting funded by a, a, a national association. You know what I'm saying? How is that even possible? He is very rarely present it's at crazy, the facility. Bro. Buccaneers charge non-starters and players with four less years of experience. 1750 to opt out of having a roommate on a road trip. What? what whoa, 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 whoa. So the backup quarterback or anyone with four less years of experience has to have a roommate on road trips or they pay $1,750? Dude, you'd have to pay 1750 just to clap a girl's cheeks in your hotel room? That is an expensive prostitute. <laughs> Never mind what you're paying her. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? <laughs> the Chargers provide daycare, but players have to pay the team charges. Whoa, yeah, Jesus. Phillip Rivers was probably running up a check. This is actually insane. Don't these teams make fucking absurd money? I don't get the economics at all, clearly. Because how do you not have working showers? I feel like the cafeteria is like, this is Bush League shit. The cafeteria should be the most basic thing, right? I will say I was spoiled at Michigan State. That's Michigan like saying State. they don't have a practice field. Oh, yeah, our practice field is fucked up. We got bad turf. It's like, nigga, you in the NF? Like, what? Huh? What? You would think my high school? You mean to me my high school, our practice field, even though we did use our practice field as the game field or our our game field was our practice field, I should say. Um, but they got their own shit, bro. So, come Some on. of, like, the best cafeterias in the nation. I know that's a stupid thing to brag about, but holy shit. You ever been a Brody calf in your life? You'll come. <laughs> Demar Hamlin surviving this week. <laughs> I don't know. The Demar Hamlin jokes are already just, they're getting old on me, dude. I don't know. Maybe I'm washed up. Although, it is crazy how many people the Bills cut. Mitch Morris, Jordan Poyer, Tredavious White, Naheem Hines, Deontay Hardy, Sierra Neal. Okay, you snuck Sierra Neal in there, but, like, Jordan Poyer, Tredavious White, Mitch Morris? Those are some huge names for the Buffalo Bills. Nick Bosa finally met Donald Trump at UFC 299. It was the happiest he's ever been. He act, like, uh, like well, I know we neck. get it. There's all the memes, but holy shit. He's actually so geeked up to meet him. I think it's so funny that Donald Trump just goes to the UFC events. I do think that yeah. that is funny. Nick Bosa's yeah, hanging yeah. this picture in his locker until the day he retires. See, Joe Burrow is like, he's a little more reserved. Nick Bosa is clearly, he's clearly pretty excited about this. What's the Nick Bosa, Joe Burrow connection? Nick Bosa yeah, went to I'm where? Saying. Ohio State? Wisconsin? Where did Nick Bosa go to college? No, he, he went Ohio State. Joe Burrow was LSU. Wait, did... Did Joe Burrow play with Nick Bosa when he was on OSU? Because didn't he play for OSU for like a hot second? I went to school at Ohio State. I played football at LSU. Okay, so maybe that's the connection. We don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you, we don't care. Ow. Nick Bosa when he found out Donald Trump was in the <laughs> Yo. Nick Bosa after finally meeting his hero, Donald Trump. I manifested this. I manifested this. I manifested <laughs> Nick Bosa when Donald Trump got up to use the bathroom at UFC 299. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I couldn't help it. You just got me in your jail. Jesus. That's nasty, man. Shake Bosa apologizing to Trump at UC 29 for letting him look at I hate to break it to you, Nick Bosa, but we've failed for many years now. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Liberal Bengals fan seeing Joe Burrow post. Whoa! I have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Lib Who the fuck is this? Bro? Many years now. With all due respect, I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's bro, it's no way. This gotta be a joke, bro. It's gotta be a joke. That's the way I feel. Liberal Bengals fan seeing fuck? Joe Burrow posted up with Donald Trump. Trump is now president of the United States. <laughs> I agree, Mr. President. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop it! Get on Gronk. You can't keep getting away with it! Let's actually get into the free agency. Let's not forget what happened the last time a Patriots quarterback took his talents to Florida team that just missed the playoffs. Yeah, the Jaguars traded for Mac Jones. Probably the most random trade I've ever seen. Zappy liking the post is nasty word. Bailey Zappy really thinks he won the starting quarterback job. <laughs> 
I think Bailey Zappi was probably just supporting his teammate, but it just doesn't come off that way on the internet. Jared Mayo seeing Bailey Zappi like the Mac Jones trade post. Guess what, son? You're next. <laughs> Dude, the Patriots have a serious quarterback room dilemma. Their quarterbacks are shit right now. Patriots fans waking up to Mac Jones finally being off their team. Yo, don't rejoice yet. You don't have anybody yet. They have to draft a quarterback, right? Do you draft a quarterback and then just instantly start him? Like, what do you do, though? Or are you going to sign a free agent? Right, exactly. Russ is already gone, and so is Kirk O'Bans. Mac Jones, I can't wait to get another chance to lead this team in 2024. <laughs> Mac Jones just got traded to back up Trevor Lawrence. Jalen Hurts had a one-year Linsanity run. Tua is mid, and Bryce Young is one year away from playing quarterback and destroying YouTube videos. Oh I hate this God. meme so much. I'm not going to oh get mad God. at a meme, so I'm not going to get into it. God damn it! Jared Mayo sending Mac Jones to Jacksonville for a bag of chips. Is a bag of chips? Damn. What is this clip? Yo, why? Right, why would you ever that. agree to be put in a suitcase? Oh, that's definitely a Trevor Lawrence okay. after Mac Jones takes his QB1 job. <laughs> Shut up. It is man. It is man. I think You need to settle down. Mind your business. Okay? Man. Once again, man. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's man. Gotcha. Both of you guys. Right before him. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This is a fucking certified hood classic clip, bro. 2021 QB draft class. Trevor Lawrence, like Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, Mac Jones. That is crazy. What's so crazy about it is we looked at this class, like when this draft class was drafted, and we were like, this is such a deep class. Like so deep. And it's just not looking good. I mean, that's kind of what we're saying about this upcoming class though, right? Like this upcoming class looks insanely deep. Drake May, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels. We gonna find out. Russell Wilson steals city, let's weld. If he ever says that, dude, weld. I don't put it past him. I don't put yeah, this past Russell Wilson at all. Yeah, he definitely The welding. Yeah. Uh, you know, where do you find like a, a welding like factory a like lighting up? Like where do you find this yeah. thing? Yo, uh, buddy. What are we doing? There is yeah, absolutely is. nothing at that desk important enough for you to be walking back to that. Uh, you know Bro, grab a case of... He just lost his life. Yo! They bro, even, bro, that might have been four seconds after he grabbed that shit. Oh my god, that man is counting his blessings. That man is grateful to see the sun. What? Oh, he, oh, oh my god. Oh, he put. He's literally cooked. You're, literally you're cooked. cooked. He's literally cooked. He's is that still... man in that forklift alive? Bro, why the fuck don't you just hop out? Why would you. Just keep driving it, nigga. Who do you think you are? Just not no damn fast and furious. It's grateful to see the sun. What? This shit oh, literally blew back at him, bro. And this dude started whipping that bitch like he did. Okay. Hey, bro. Hey, what's that bitch? Is that man in that forklift alive? Why is the welding mistakes clips actually so crazy? Jalen Hurts when Saquon Barkley scores wants to that. instead of going down at the one yard line. Supporting cast. Play your damn role. Sit down. You start doing shit to bring attention to you, you cut, because I don't need that. Let's see how Giants fans are handling Saquon Barkley signing with the Eagles. What are we doing? Giants fans, when Saquon Barkley signs with the Eagles after the Giants didn't offer him a contract because they gave all the money to Daniel Jones. Yeah, and like, you see Tiki Worst Barber's comments? Tiki Barber said that Saquon Barkley is dead to him. Why is it Saquon Barkley's fault that his team couldn't pay? If you're Saquon Barkley and a better team is offering you more money, why the hell would you ever stay in New York? <laughs> Kirk Cousins, B. John Robinson, and Kyle Pitts in the locker room after dropping a. <laughs> hey! Dallas Cowboys in free agency. Mannequin Jones. They ain't do shit at all. Oh my god, was this a Dallas Cowboys mannequin challenge? Jerry Jones cannot get it done. Yeah, this is the cringiest movie. shit I've ever seen. 2024 Steelers training camp QB back. You're right, let's see what you got. Hit me, I'm open. That's why. 2022, the Panthers turned down two firsts and a second rounder for Ryan Burns. Panthers trade Ryan Burns to the Giants for a second and a fifth rounder. They basically gave up two first round picks for a one year rental during their meaningless two win season. I don't know if I agree with this. I'm not going to hyperanalyze the meme, but Brian Burns is a spectacular player. The Panthers just suck. This isn't on Brian Burns. They just suck. All right, gentlemen. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey!